and gentlemen, at this point in time, I will be inviting the Chairman Central Working Committee of this great movement, Women and Youth Rally for Buhari and Osimbajo, a proficient warlord, a veteran military expert, and to the glory of God, former Governor of Ronu State and Lagos State, who also happens to be the son-in-law to Ibo State. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, General Boba Marua, or Chinigwe Niboland. This camp president, I never see your life for you. This camp president, now he's a man for corruption in Nigeria. This camp president, come on, boy, I never see your life for you. Oh, how many words? This camp president, now he's a man for corruption. Dr. Aisha Buhari, the chairperson of the Women and Youth Presidential Campaign Team, ably represented today by Her Excellency Mrs. Dolako Oshimbanjo, wife of the Vice President and co-chairperson. His Excellency the Governor of Imo State, members of the National Assembly, the Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, the National Woman Leader, the Senior Special Assistant to the wife of the President, Dr. Hajo Sani, Your Excellencies, Zonal Leaders and Wives of Governors here present, the APC candidates for Governor in the Southeast State, Party stalwarts, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, APC! APC! Nigeria! Nigeria! On behalf of the Central Working Committee of the Women and Youth Presidential Campaign Team, I would like to say how very excited we are to be in this beautiful city of Owere, in the great state of Imo. We are very happy to be here, and the team in support us a clear testimony that the APC will surely win the Southeast by the grace of God. We are here today to campaign for the re-election of President Muhammad Buhari and Chief Professor Shimba Joe, the joint ticket for the elections holding on the 18th February 2019. Will you vote for them? Will you vote for them? Will you vote for them? The Igbos have certain qualities that we all know. But I'm not talking today of resourcefulness or industry, or business, or entrepreneurship. I'm not even talking about the Republican nature of the Igbos or their independent mindedness. No! Today I'm going to touch two qualities of the Igbo that have always been skipped. The first is that there is no ethnic group in Nigeria that believes in one Nigeria more than the Igbo man and woman. I say this because it's only the Igbo that goes out to all parts of Nigeria, not only to trade, but to settle, to settle down and raise his family. There is no other ethnic group that does that. That means you have absolute trust in the unity and oneness of this great country. The second aspect quality of the Igbo is that they are fair-minded. They are fair-minded, educated, calculating, and they know what they want in their best interest. 
It is this fair-mindedness that I want to use to appeal to the Southeast to judge President Mohamed Buhari by his activities in the last three and a half years. The second most expensive and biggest project of this government is in the Southeast. That is the second NIDA bridge, which, by the grace of God, will be completed in the second tenure. Every single state, there are federal roads ongoing. The Oweri Onisha Road is already 97% completed. The road from Oweri to Potakot, all the way to Elele, is completed. It's only the remaining small section. Am I right or am I not right? Will you vote Buhari or will you not vote him? What about the railways? That is even more important in his second term. He will construct the Eastern Corridor linking Potakot, Aba, Enugu, Otupo, Makodi, all the way to Maiduguri. But that is not all. There is a loop that will connect Enugu, Innewi, Oka, and back to Enugu. It's still not finished. There is another loop from Enugu to Abakaliki. What about Kuja? From Akwanga, rail will link Kepi and Kuja. That means the main heartland of Igbo is connected throughout the country. Is that good or is that not good? And we know that once President Muhammad Buhari speaks, he will do it because he's a man that keeps his word. I therefore urge you to remember that these projects can only happen if he is re-elected back to office in the next election. Will you vote him or will you not vote him? Will you vote him or will you not vote him? Yeah. Yeah.